Hey everyone, by the end of this video, you will know how to use the scenario debugger as part of the Integromat developer tools. My name is Dominic Lehnert. Let's get right into it. When you're working with the Integromat developer tools, they are a Chrome extension. If you haven't installed them already, um, go check out the video before how to install them. When you've installed them and you haven't pulled them up yet, if you are using a Windows PC, you want to use the, press the keys, control shift I like so. And if you're using a Mac, you want to use the keys command option I, and then it's going to pull up the Chrome developer tools. And then you will have the Integromat tab over here. And then you have the live stream section. There's a video on that as well, how to use that and what information that gives you. And then you have the scenario debugger here, the second one on the left side. And what this is very useful for is if you have a very big scenario. So you have, let's say 20, 25, 30, maybe even more modules in one scenario, and then it can be extremely tedious to debug that scenario. So if I run this scenario, for example, even though there's just very few um, modules in here, you can see if I go over to the live stream section and I look at the request, for example, that happened, it's it's a lot of requests and I, I don't see which module made which request. But if I use the scenario debugger, it basically allows me to drill down into the specific modules and what requests they made. So I can select a module here, for example, the add a row module in Google Sheets. And then I can look at the each operation, what is the request I sent, what is the response header, what is the response body I got, etc., etc. So I can kind of do the same thing as in the live stream. I can look at the requests I've made um, but I can do it on the basis of the modules. And if I'm looking for a specific module, I can either search for the module here by the name it has, or I can also search for it by the index. So the index is basically in the scenario. You, you will see these small little numbers, this gray little one over here, for example, um, or the second one, the area ag aggregator has a number seven. And these are the indexes of the modules. So this is kind of how you can address the module. So I, you can also use that to search. So if I open the scenario debugger again, and I, I want to look into the um, updated row module in Google Sheets over here, and I can see that it has this little gray five, then I could just put in the five and then it pulls it up directly. So this is how to use the scenario debugger um, in Integromat, short but sweet video. If you're looking, if you want to also know how to use the tools section of the developer tools in Integromat, there's another video on that where I explain that and I go into detail on that. If you want to help me stay caffeinated for these videos, feel free to buy me a coffee below. Also, if you need help with a specific scenario or you're looking for someone to build a scenario for you, also feel free to buy me a coffee below. That allows me to put aside some time on my calendar and then we can sit down, have a Zoom call and talk about what you're looking to do. My name is Dominic Lehnert. Take care and goodbye.